Hello friends and welcome to our channel. In this short video, we'll tell you about three ways you can play Once Human on your Mac. The game doesn't have a native Mac version, but the following workarounds will let you bypass this obstacle and still run it. The methods that will be explained next are Boosteroid, GeForce Now, and Bootcamp. Let's get started. Cloud gaming services let you stream the game over the internet, so you don't have to download it, making this an ideal method if you're short on storage space, don't have a powerful Mac, or simply want a straightforward option that's easy to set up and use. The downside is having a bad internet connection, or being far from the cloud gaming servers, that can negatively impact your experience, causing lag, stuttering, and decreased visual quality. An important thing to consider here is that not all cloud gaming services support all game stores for a particular game. With Boosteroid's standard subscription plan, the game's image quality is capped at 1080p and 60 frames per second. And with the Ultra plan, you can get up to 4K resolution and 120 FPS with ray tracing. However, whether you're actually getting the image quality depends on your internet. The service automatically diminishes the game's resolution to keep the performance smooth if you're experiencing connectivity disruptions. To run the connection test, follow the link below the video to the Boosteroid site. Then register or use the Google sign up option and once you're logged in, click the network test button at the top. This will give you a general estimation of the performance you can expect when gaming through Boosteroid. But note, even if you get only 2 bars, this doesn't necessarily mean that the game will be unplayable. We tested Boosteroid with such a connection and while there was occasional decrease in image quality and some stuttering, the experience was still mostly ok for casual gamers. Needless to say, anything above 2 bars is great for pretty much any game. If you decide to try the service after testing your connection, first go to the profile page, click subscribe, and start your subscription. Once you're subscribed, type the game's name in the search bar at the top, click on the play button, and click on OK let's go. Finally, enter your username and password for the respective game store and the game will load inside your browser. For an even smoother gameplay, we recommend using a dedicated macOS app that you can download from its site. But if you still prefer to play directly from the browser, we recommend Chrome and Firefox as the service seems to work best with these two. To start the game in GeForce Now, click again the link in the description, register on the GeForce Now site, and choose the subscription plan you think is best for you. Then visit the site's download section and download GeForce Now for Mac OS and install it. After that, launch the app and log in. Search for the game, click it, select the store where you own the game, and click play. An automatic internet connection test will be performed, after which you can begin playing. If you get warned that your internet isn't good enough, you can ignore that warning and still play the game, but you may experience lag and stuttering. The third and final method we want to tell you about is Bootcamp. This tool lets you split your Mac's drive into two and install Windows in one of the partitions. Then you can download and play Once Human in the Windows partition. Note that this method only works for Intel Macs. Also bear in mind that Once Human is quite demanding and most Intel based machines don't have the graphics card grunt to run it with playable performance. This is why we only recommend the bootcamp method if you have a relatively recent high end Intel MacBook with discrete GPU or a powerful desktop model like an iMac or Mac Pro. For all other cases, we recommend the cloud gaming alternative. To use bootcamp, First download a Windows 10 64-bit file from Microsoft, and then go to your Utilities folder and start the Bootcamp Assistant app. Load the Windows file in it, and give enough space for the Windows partition, say around 50 to 80 gigabytes, leaving at least 20 gigabytes for your Mac OS, and then launch the installation. Your Mac will restart, and then you must follow the prompts to install Windows. Once you get the product key screen, simply click I don't have a product key option to continue. Once Windows is finally ready, update your drives and install any missing Windows updates, and you're ready to go. All that's left to do at this point is to download the game like you would on a regular Windows PC, and it should run without any compatibility issues. We tried other potential methods to run this game on Mac, such as Crossover and Parallels, but we didn't have the success. For the time being, the only way to play Once Human on an Apple Silicon model is through cloud gaming, and Intel Mac users can try the bootcamp alternative. We'll keep testing and if new solutions become available, we'll include it in the description of this video and in the article we've linked there. So those are all the current ways you can play Once Human on Mac. 
We hope that this video will help you have fun on your Apple machine. Tell us in the comments if you tried any of the suggested methods and share your experience with them. Also, if you have any questions or need help with any of our guides, don't hesitate to request our aid and we'll help you to the best of our abilities. For more similar guides and other Mac gaming content, smash the subscribe button and we'll see you in the next one.